In this video, I will be teaching you how to solve a statistics problem using one sample t-test. So let us analyze this problem. A peanut butter maker labeled its container 500 grams. A batch of 100 was sampled and the mean was found to be 487 grams with a standard deviation of 5.8 grams. Does the sample support the maker's claim? Use alpha equals 0.05. So, as you can see, there is only 13 grams difference from the expected uh, weight. So, the expected weight is 500 grams, but when it was tested with 100 samples, it was found out that it's only 487. So, now, the question is, is this 13 grams too small enough to say that these 500 and 487 are just the same? So, this 13 grams is just too small that you can just ignore it. Or it is enough to say that it is different from 500 grams. And that's the question that will be solved by t-test. Now actually in this kind of problem, it can be solved by z-test or t-test depending on the standard deviation. If the standard deviation is coming from a population, then it is z-test. If the standard deviation is coming from a sample, then we use t-test. So since the standard deviation is coming from this 100 samples, then it is uh, th then we're gonna use the t-test. So here's the formula to uh, to find the t-test or t-value. So the sample mean minus the expected mean or the population mean, the 500 grams, uh, over the standard error. So this, the formula for standard error is the standard deviation over the square root of the n or the number of samples so let us substitute we have the sample mean is 487 expected mean is 500 and then standard deviation is 5.8 over the square root of the number of samples which is 100 so we substitute everything what is given and then we can subtract the numerator we have 487 minus 500 is negative 13 and then we can also get the square root of 100 at the bottom. Square root of 100 is 10. Then we continue. We divide 5.8 divided by 10. So it will be 0 0.58. And then we continue dividing negative 13 by 0 0.58. So we just round it off because it's going to be a long decimal. So it's approximately negative 22.41. So that is the T value. And also we need to find the t-critical that will be compared with this t-value. But before we can have the t-critical, we need the degrees of freedom. Because it is needed to find the t-critical in the t-table. So degrees of freedom is in t-test is n minus 1. So the n is 100 minus 1. Degrees of freedom is 99. Now let's find out, uh, let's find the... Uh, uh, t critical in the t table. So our degrees of freedom is 99. So we're going to look for the 99 in the left side. As you can see, there is df and there is 1 up to 1000. Now, if you look at the numbers, there is no 99, but there is 80 and 100. So which of these two are we going to choose? Is it the 80 or 100? If the number or if the, if the value of the degrees of freedom is not in the t table, then you choose the next lower value. Not the closest, but it's the lower, the next lower value. So since it's 99 and there's no 99, then we're going to use 80 instead of 100. 100 is closer, but it is higher than 99. So we're going to choose the lower value, which is 80. So it's here. So and then we're going to find the column. The column that we are looking for is either one tail or two tail. As you can see on top the head, which is, which is divided into two rows. So the, val the, the uh, decimals are divided by one tail or two tails. So how will you know that the problem is one tail or two tail? It is one tail problem if it's asking whether this uh, one, the samples are bigger than the expected or smaller. But if it's asking if they are the same or not, it doesn't matter which one is bigger or smaller, 
then that is two tails. So in this problem, although we know that this the sample mean is smaller, but since at the start it's not asking which one is bigger or smaller, it's just simply knowing if this 500 is the same as the mean of the samples. It doesn't matter which one is bigger or smaller. So it's two tail, and usually the problems are in two tails. So that's why we will use the second row, which is for two tails, and we're gonna find the alpha 0 0.05, which is this. And you might ask, what does it mean by alpha equals 0 0.05? Alpha is the chance of committing uh, a mis an, an error, committing a wrong decision. So let, of course, after solving, we are going to decide whether to to say that there is significant difference or not based on the computation. So using alpha equals 0 0.05, that means whatever is our decision based on the computation, computation it's 5% chance that it's a wrong decision to the real one. And it's only 95% chance that we are confident that we are doing it correctly. That's 5%. And that's acceptable, especially for, uh, for social studies. But usually it's 1% when it's talking about medicine or about life of people. So anyway, we have the T-critical, which is 1.990. So this is our T-critical. And then we're going to compare it with the T-value. So we're going to ignore the, the negative sign or the positive sign. The, the sign of the T-values uh, doesn't matter. So we'll, that's why we're going to put it inside the absolute value so that this, the negative sign will just be gone and we're going to compare 22.41 and 1.990 so obviously the the t value is way bigger than the 1.99 the t critical so if the t value is bigger than the t critical then the result is significant that means there is significant difference that means 487 is different from 500 that means that 13 grams difference matters so let us answer now the question the question is does the sample support the maker's claim the answer is therefore the samples did not support the maker's claim thanks for watching and i hope you have learned from this video please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and also write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section